Hey everyone, welcome back, okay? Uh, Ruben Padilla, okay, I'm in, a, I'm in my morning class, 8 to 10 a.m., okay? Say hi. 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 <laughs> What's up, guys? Okay, good, hey. So, hey, we're in the morning class, 8 to 10 a.m., okay? I am uploading this video tonight. Esta noche lo voy a subir, okay? Mira este video, it's very, very important for you, okay, good? ESL students, okay, like uh, intermediate or advanced level, okay? Como esta es, esta lección es una, es una lección más como más intermediate, or advanced beginners. They didn't say that. In order to know this lesson, para conocer esta lección, example, we're going to talk about the verb get. Okay, get. Okay, we're working on get followed by past participles. Okay, estamos trabajando en get, el verbo get. The conjugation, la conjugación de get, que es, okay, get, present, tienes getting, progressive, tienes el past tense, que es got, y el past participle, tienes got it. Yeah, participate. You're welcome to participate. Okay, good. So then, Look, the point is that example get, get in this case works as the passive voice. Get in este caso trabaja como la voz pasiva también. What's the passive voice? What is the passive voice? The passive voice is when the performer, when the subject is not important. Only the receiver matters, okay? ¿Qué es el passive voice? Cuando el performer, quien hace la acción, en cierta forma no está, no importa, solamente quien recibe la acción. But at the same time, we're learning something else, okay? A la misma vez, estamos aprendiendo otra cosa más, que es, example, lo que estamos aprendiendo también son causative, okay? Causative verbs, okay? Como verbos causativos, okay? No sé en español si es la palabra correcta. Causative verbs. ¿Por qué le llamas causative verbs, okay? Because one, one person, okay, or one object causes something to happen to the second object or person. ¿Por qué se llaman causative verbs? Porque una persona o un objeto causa que algo le pase a la otra persona o al otro objeto. No directamente la persona lo hace. Okay? So then, so how does it work? It works with get. You need get, okay? Then, you're gonna need the object. The object, okay, again, object doesn't mean uh, an item, a thing only, okay? Un object no solamente significa una cosa, un artículo. Un object también es una persona. En la grama, en, en, en grammar, ¿ok? En, en la gramática en inglés, ese object también puede ser una persona. Solamente que eres quien recibe. Ese eres el object. Si tú usas ese ejemplo, look. Here's how it works, ¿ok? Look, check it out. I love my mom. Look, very simple. I love my mom. I, the subject, yo soy el subject, el sujeto, el performer, quien hace la acción. Then you have the verb, el verbo, love. My mom, mi mamá, no es una cosa, pero mi mamá es el object. ¿Por qué es el object ella? Because she's the receiver. Ella es quien recibe la acción. Por eso ella es el object. Okay, good? Yeah. All right, guys. So, let's see. Uh, we're going to be working on, uh, well, no, we're going to be working with these verbs, Okay. Do, drink, fire, ground, wash, renew, and lose, okay? But then, don't forget the pattern, okay? Que no se te olvide cuál es el patrón. El patrón tienes que usar get. Oh, okay. it depends on it depends on the tense that you want to use, okay? Depende del tiempo que quieres usar. If it's present, if it's present continuous, okay? If it's past or if it's present perfect, like haven't, has, gotten. It all depends, okay? Depende de qué tiempo vas a usar. Now, example. Don't, now. Let's not forget that the pattern is what? Get, get. then the object, the object, object. Um, and then the oh. verb, the verb what? Past participle. El verbo tiene que ir en el past participle, ¿para qué? Because the verb, the verbs, as those verbs in the past participle also function as adjective. Esos verbos en el past participle también funcionan como adjetivos. Describen a quien recibe la acción, okay, good? All right, let's see. Let's um, let's get started. Okay, good. We have the verb do. I said do. The past is did, and then done. done. Let's do one example in the past tense. Look, let's talk about the laundry. Hablemos de laundry. Okay, de la lavandería, de la ropa sucia, laundry. Okay. Como digo, si veo un example. Let's say I have a pile of dirty clothes. Okay, tengo una pileta ahí de ropa sucia, and I see it. Right, lo veo. Present tense. If I say look. Necesito lavar la ropa. I need to need do. To do. Mira, so you can very good. I need to do. I need to do my laundry. Fine, right? No get. There's no. 
there's no need to use get here because you have the subject, me, right? Mm -hmm. You're mentioning the subject. Tú estás mencionando el, el sujeto, okay, good. I, okay, I need to do my laundry. I need to do my laundry. Now, when I say look, oh, whatever, vamos a ver algo. Now, let's see it, let's put it this way, okay, good. Let's say again, I have a pile of dirty clothes. Tengo un montón de ropa sucia ahí, okay, good. Y lo que yo pienso de esta forma, mira, Necesito la, que la, lavar la ropa. Exacto, good. Pero no importa si lo hago yo, si lo hace mi mamá, lo hace mi hermano, ok, good. El punto necesita hacerse esto, ok. ¿Cómo lo dices? I need, I need to get, right? I need to get, I need to get my laundry. Fine, if you say that, or the verb we're using in this case. Do, ok, done in the past participle. So, uh, again, let's read it again. I need, I need to get my laundry done. Done. The expression, okay, passive voice, no importa quién lo va a hacer, el hecho es que se haga esto. I need to get my laundry done. Mira en un trabajo, example, si estás en un trabajo, dices, let's say, we're painting this, uh, this room, estamos pintando este cuarto. And then, you guys are working here, hey, look, guys, okay, you guys have already started, ustedes ya empezaron a pintar aquí. It's halfway, van a medio camino, okay? And then I say, look, hey, esto necesita estar listo, necesito que lo hagan antes de las tres. Que ya esté hecho. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, 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 you. The point is that this room needs to be done, right? Tiene que estar listo. Example, so how am I going to say, look, hey guys, you know what? Okay, look, get, okay, get this room, get this room done by 3 p.m. Okay. Let's read the example, come on. Get, get this room done this by 3 p.m. Yo no estoy diciendo a quién que lo hace, que importa, solo que el, el cuarto esté listo, que esté hecho. Good. Get this room done by 3 p.m. Okay? Very good. That's example number one. Okay? Let's, um, let's do the verb. Okay, drink. Drink, the past is. Drank, and then drunk, the past part is full. Is it drunk? ¿Qué es la terminación drunk en español en el past participle? Bebido, tomado. O sea que ese, ese viene de un verbo. Mira, drink, drank, drunk. Cuando dices el past participle drunk, bebido, it, it also functions as an adjective. También funciona como un adjetivo. How do I say in English? Like, ¿Cómo digo en inglés? Él está bebido. He is drunk. ¿Ves? Como he is drunk. drunk. He so, is drunk. So in that case, like he is drunk, the word drunk is not functioning as a verb. It is functioning as an adjective, okay? Now, now example, look. Let's put it this way, okay, ready? Look, vamos a decir que esta es una fiesta, okay? Viene Miguel, y como te digo, emborrachémoslo. O sea, nosotros vamos a causar esto. We are going to cause this. We're gonna give him drinks, okay? And we're gonna get him, what? Drunk, drunk. okay? So look, what do I say to you? Hey, let's. Let's get Miguel. Mira esto. Let's get Miguel. Mm -hmm. let's, Come on, read it. Let's, 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 let's get, get Miguel, Miguel drunk. drunk. Let's get Miguel drunk. Pero nosotros, example, claro, sentido como uno no va a beber a una persona, pero sí le va a causar esto a la persona, dándole bebidas. Let's, okay, check it out. Let's, let's get, get Miguel, Miguel drunk. drunk. In the past tense, okay, it would be, okay, listen, we, we got, Again, we got Miguel, we got Miguel drunk at the party. Well, okay, look, past tense, okay, come on, read it. We, we, we got, got Miguel, Miguel drunk, drunk at, at the, the party. party. We got Miguel drunk at the party, okay, what's that in, what's that in Spanish? Nosotros? Nosotros. Emborrachamos a él, o sea, nosotros causamos esto. We, we got, got Miguel. Miguel drunk at the party, okay? Good. Go ahead. Yeah. In this moment, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, drunk. Estamos bebidos o bebidos? Estamos bebidos en este momento. Oh, so, we are drunk. Ahora si dijéramos, en este momento nos estamos, nos estamos emborrachando, nos estamos poniendo así. We are getting drunk. Exactly. We are getting drunk. Mm -hmm. But now, si ya estuviéramos en ese estado, it says, hey, we are drunk. Ya estamos así, but then we're getting, we're getting drunk, okay? Next, okay, ready? The verb, fire, despedir. Despedir a alguien de un trabajo, fire, the past is? 
fired and fired. Okay, guys, look here. Number, okay, that's number three, okay? Number three, I don't want you to get confused, okay? So number three, to fire, okay, a person fired, fired, fired. Uno causa this is main example, okay? This example, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's use, let's use the past, this, okay? The past, the home side of Look, let's say Robert, Robert is the owner of the company. Robert is the dueño de la compañía. Mira, example, look. Como digo que Robert me despidió la semana pasada. Robert, Robert fired me. Right, Robert fired me last. So, example, in this case, we do have a subject. We know who the performer was, okay? Sabemos quién hizo la acción, quién realizó la acción, quién era el performer. That's why I'm not using get in this example. Por eso no estoy usando get. Porque estoy mencionando quién hizo la acción, quién la realizó directamente. Robert fired me last week. Now, ¿cómo se dice en inglés que te despidan? Como sin decir quién, pero que uno causa esto, get fired. Dices, get fired. Conseguir, hacer que te despidan. How do I say in English? ¿Cómo digo en inglés? Me despidieron la semana pasada. Pero yo causé, yo hice esto. I, I got, I'm going to say, I got fired last. Look. Come on, read it. I, I got, got fired, fired last week. I'm not saying who fired me. I'm just saying that I got fired. I caused this. I did something. Como, I got yo lo causé. Yo hice algo para que esto me pasara. I got fired last week. Now, third example, okay? As a causative, as a causative verb, como un verbo causativo, okay? Como puedo decir en inglés, example, que Ana hizo que me despidiera. What is it? Anna. Anna. Anna got me. Right? Anna got me fired. Look, so check this one out. She, well, she's not example. She she did not fire me. Right? Okay, but she got me fired. Okay? Ella no me despidió, pero ella hizo, consiguió. Exactly. Anna got me fired last week. Anna got me fired last week. Okay, good. Good? Yeah. All right, let's see number, number four, okay? The verb, okay, to ground. To ground a kid, because they got on niño. Ground, the passes, grounded, and grounded, okay? Rosa, Rosa grounds Tommy all the time. So we have a, so we have a performer, guys, okay, here. Come on, Rosa. Rosa, Rosa grounds Tommy, Tommy all the time. time. There's no need of get. Why? Because we have a performer. No hay necesidad de usar get porque tenemos un sujeto quien realiza la acción. Rosa grounds Tommy all the time. Rosa castiga. Es presente siempre. Rosa castiga. Rosa grounds Tommy all the time. Ahora dímelo en una oración. Example, enfoquémonos en Tommy. ¿Cómo se dice que decir que lo castiguen a uno? Que a usar esto. Get grounded. Okay. Get grounded, sin decir quién, el performer. ¿Cómo digo que a Tommy? A Tommy lo castigan todo el tiempo. He's a bad kid, como un niño mal, malo, ¿verdad? So, how do you say that? Tommy, Tommy gets, right? Tommy gets grounded. Tommy gets grounded all the time. Yeah, okay. So, come on, Tommy. Tommy, Tommy gets grounded all the time. Tommy gets grounded all the time. Mm -hmm. He gets grounded all the time. Good. Mira, lo castigan. So, are we saying are um are we saying who grounds him? Estamos diciendo quién lo castiga? No. Uh, no. We're not saying it. Uh, we're just saying that he causes this right to happen. El causa que esto pase. Tommy gets grounded all the time. Now, let's say, look. ¿Cómo puedo decir en un tiempo example? Look. Uh, passes. Let's go back to the past. Okay, get the passes. Got. Okay. Como puedo decir que yo causé? Yo hice que castigaran a Tommy. Como diría eso? I. I got the passes. I got Tommy. I got Tommy grounded last week. Yo lo causé. Yo conseguí. Good. Okay. So come on. I. I got Tommy grounded last week. So I got Tommy grounded. Conseguí. Yo hice que lo castigaran. I got Tommy grounded last week. If, 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 
Good. Oh, so if you now, if you if you if you do that, okay, if you're the performer, I ground present, I ground Tommy. Okay. If it's fast, I ground it. Okay. So, um, Black had a question. Okay. Good. So then, look, hey. Yo castigo a Tommy, estás diciendo, estás mencionando quién lo hace, no necesitas usar este. Okay. Again, I usa el verbo. I, I ground Tommy. Tommy. Yo lo castigo. And the past tense, yo lo castigué. I grounded. I grounded Tommy. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, may I raise uh, a few examples? Blow it on the hands. Yes. yes. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, good. Hey, ready? Next one. Okay, number five. Number five. Very important. Okay, come on. Wash. Wash. The past is wash. wash. And then wash. Wash. How do you say it? goes, look. Yo lavo mi carro. What is it? I? I, I wash. wash. Right? I wash my car. My car. Good. Tú lo haces. I wash my car. No need No need to use get. Okay? I wash my car. Good? Right, there is, yeah, simple person, okay? I wash my car. What's the best as a wash? Washed. Si tu dices que tu lavaste tu carro ayer, I washed. I washed my car yesterday. Good. You did it, tu lo hiciste. I washed my car yesterday. Now, what if at this moment, example, let's say I was looking at my car. Si ahorita yo estuviera viendo mi carro en my car, my car is dirty, it's filthy, it's asqueroso, it's sucio. I, 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 Yo pienso, quiero, si lo, necesito lavarlo. Pero tu forma de pensar solo tú lo conoces cuando hablas, no puedes traducir siempre. Okay, great. So, example, look. Necesito lavar mi carro. Y tú lo estás pensando, o sea, que tú, que vas a pagar, como sea, pero el hecho es que se lave ese carro. How do you say that? I need? I need to get. I need to get, right? I need to get, sorry. I need to get my car. Very good. I need to get, good. Come on, read it. I, I, I need, need to, to get, get my car washed. Car what are you thinking? The only thing the only thing you're thinking is that the car needs to be washed, okay? No matter who. Sin importar quien, tu le pagas a alguien, okay? You need the car washed. Bottom line, right? You need, you need the car washed, okay? So then I need to get my car washed. That's a causative, causative uh, verb sentence, okay? Passive voice, eso es, una, eso es una causative sentence, okay? Porque lo vas a causar que pase. Es un passive voice sentence, okay? Get, object, and then verb in the past parts. Okay, good? Now example, oh, look, imagine if this morning, okay, let's say you see my car, tu ves mi auto, y como me dice, oh, lavaste el carro, pero, but, tu no sabes si yo lo lavé, solo sabes que el auto está lavado, como me dices, you, you, you got that. your car, yeah, so it was, oh, look, your car looks nice, okay? So you got it washed, right? Finally, finalmente, okay, good? You got your car washed, right? Okay, good, good. Okay, next one, okay, renew. Okay, come on, renew. Renew. Uh, so renew, renovar. Renew, the past is renewed, renewed. Renew, renovar, renew, so, okay, renew. Renewed, renewed. Your passport. Let's say my passport is expired. Mi pasaporte está expirado. Tú no renuevas tu pasaporte. Tú tienes que ir. You have to go to the post office. Tú no lo puedes renovar solo. Example, pero tú lo vas a causar que pase. Okay, look. Como digo, necesito renovar mi pasaporte. I I need to get I need to get my passport renewed. Very good. I need to get my passport renewed. That's the way it's said, okay? As this is this, okay? I need to get my passport renewed. Okay, good. Now, example, hey, look, in the, pre in the present perfect, okay, question, have you, have you gotten, have you gotten your passport, have you gotten your passport renewed? Question in the present perfect. Have you gotten your passport renewed? Repeat the question. Have you got your passport renewed? ¿Cómo se interpreta? Ya renovaste tu pasaporte. Past, present, okay? Have you got your passport renewed? Good. 
and last one, okay, to lose. Lose the past is lost and then lost. ¿Qué es el término lost en el past part en español? Perdido. Ajá, uh -huh. good. Puedes decir, estoy perdido. I am lost. ¿Cómo se dice perderse? Hacer eso que pasa. ¿Cómo se dice perderse? Get lost. Get lost, okay? Get lost. Let's do an example in the present tense, okay, good? Uh, example, ¿cómo dirías si no tienes GPS? Example, siempre me pierdo. I always what? I, I, I always get lost. Good. I always, I always get lost. Me pasa esto, ¿verdad? Siempre me pierdo. I always, I always get lost. Now, let's do, let's do a causative example. Un ejemplo causativo, okay, good? How do I say an example? If I want to say to Blanca, let's say Blanca and I were driving, or she was driving, okay? No, I was driving. Let's say I was driving. Blanca was the co-pilot, right? Era la copilota. Entonces, Blanca is giving me directions, okay? But she gives me the wrong directions. Ella me da la dirección en malos. ¿Cómo digo a Blanca? ¿Qué example? Oh, usted me perdió. Me hizo que me perdiera. You? You got me. Exactly, good. A causative example. Look, hey, you got me lost. Or, since she was in the car with me, como ella estaba en el carro conmigo, como digo que hizo que nos perdiéramos. You? You got us, right? Hey, you got us lost. You got us lost, right? You got us lost. Us. Exactly. You see, you got me lost. It's me, right? But then, yeah. imagine if we were on the phone and you were giving me directions. Okay, hey, you got me lost. But in this case, okay, you were with me in the car. You got us lost, right? You got us lost. Past tense, okay? Good. And let's do one. Let's do one last one with the phrasal verb. Tell someone off. Uno más. Vamos a hacer uno con un phrasal verb. ¿Qué es el phrasal verb? Tell someone off. Tell someone off es regañar a alguien. Example. Robert is, a, Robert is my manager. Robert is mi gerente, mi manager. Y te digo, Robert me llamó la atención, me regañó. Robert told me off. Robert, Robert okay. Look. Robert. Robert, okay. Robert told me Look, Robert told me off. Me regañó. Now, example. Si en un trabajo estábamos, yo estaba, let's say I was, I was fooling around, jugando, perdiendo el tiempo. Y llegó Robert y yo, pero te quiero decir, hey, me regañaron, me llamaron la atención. No digo quién. I, I got, I got what? I got told off. Look, come on, read it. I, I got told off. ¿Qué quiere decir I got told off? Me regañaron. Pero yo lo causé. I got told off. Como yo conseguí eso, yo recibí esto. I got told off. Okay? So this is, we're going to call this one video, video one. Okay? That's one. Because I'm going to do a couple more because I know it's a very extensive, it's very like, a uh, very important lesson. If you are learning ESL, English as a second language, okay, it's very important. Okay? So... So this one, this one will be video one, okay, and later, okay, uh, this week or next week, I'll be doing like two or three more, okay? So, um, any questions? No, no. No, say bye. 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 Hey guys, okay, so please uh, like the video and follow me for more content, okay, on every platform, okay? Ruben Padilla Inglés, okay? Don't forget, get, okay, get, object, and then verbs in past participles, okay? Some examples, well, in order to learn this lesson, to understand this lesson very well, para entender bien esta lección, tú tienes que saber los tiempos como, ¿verdad? Como get, God, tú tienes que... Well, actually, to get the most out of it, para que tú le puedes sacar el mejor provecho, tú debes saber como get. Tú tienes que saber los verbos en el past participle pass. para que tú puedas sacar mejor provecho a esta lección, okay? It's not, not, not that easy, okay? But... Very useful and important on a daily basis. Es bien útil y bien uh, useful, bien útil en la vida cotidiana, okay? So, get followed by verbs in past participle, causative verbs, okay, with get, okay? All right, so video one, okay? See you guys next time, and don't forget to like it.